B equals W? What does that mean? This is no ordinary tree. This is an Aristotle tree. This is no ordinary tree. It's Aristotle's tree. Let's begin our Aristotle story by a question. Who did Athenians in 450 BC fear the most? And my answer is Sparta. Yes, nobody liked to fight in the Peloponnesian War. For some Athenians, talking to Socrates was much more challenging than fighting against Sparta. And Socrates had a great student, Plato. And Plato's greatest student was Aristotle. He was born in 384 BC. He lived about 62 years. In the world of 350 BC, Aristotle was the only human being to translate his ideas into equations. The equations was that heavier objects fall faster than light objects. We can prove that, right? Should we accept or reject the Aristotelian hypothesis? Aristotle was correct. Heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects. No, lighter objects appear to fall slower due to air resistance. Joe, don't tell. All right, game on. If I take two pieces of paper and just let them fall, then air resistance will affect them and they will both fall slower. But if I crumple one up so that there's less air below it, and thus that means that it will fall faster, then, uh, even though they have the same mass, they have the same weight, one will have a greater velocity, which means velocity and weight are not correlated. Of course, you see that heavy object has the ground faster than the light object. Now, what if I drop them like this, right? Drop them. What happens? It's a heavy object creates a vacuum, creates a moon along the path, along the path of this light object. Drop the two of them here and the moon. Hopefully, they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? As you saw that it does work on the moon. B is equal to one over rho? What does that mean? Now we're going to take you to Aristotle's second hypothesis. B equals one over rho. And the water has more density than the air. If Aristotle is right, then this one will touch the ground faster than this one because this is more dense because this is water. Ready, set, go. My man Aristotle was correct. No, he wasn't. Even though his math seemingly works on Earth, let me show you an example outside of Earth. Okay, you... sure. All right, do you see the moon? Okay, the moon. What about the moon? Well, the moon has no atmosphere, right? Okay, sure. So if it has no atmosphere, that means zero density. But who cares about density? Well, Aristotle does, because near zero density means that the moon should be going at nearly infinite speed. Why? Uh, because you said velocity is propor uh, inversely proportional to density. So as density uh. decreases, velocity should increase massively. But that's not the case. Velocity is proportional to 1 over 0. So velocity is infinity because 1 over 0 is infinity. Now, if density is 0, then velocity is infinity, right? Einstein said that uh, nothing can move faster than the speed of light, 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second, which we call c. But infinity is bigger than c, right? So that contradicts Einstein laws. So we must reject Aristotle hypothesis. Okay, well, I feel bad for my man Aristotle. Don't feel bad, he's already dead. There's a vacuum for the paper, but there wasn't any vacuum for the book. Who created this vacuum for the paper? The, the books. books! Let's watch it again. There you go. Thank you, Howard student.